It's, it's, it's a very difficult situation because there's another country in Europe that has a developed long-standing capital market that has never been in the European Union and never will be, and that's Switzerland. And, and the other one is the UK, and, and they're leaving. So the country with the strongest capital market culture will unfortunately uh, leave the European Union. So it will be unfortunately up to the Germans and the French uh, to develop that together, which um, is makes it a lot more a lot more difficult. Um, um, the big risk uh, that I see is that uh, if that happens, uh, that actually um, the new England or Great Britain then will concentrate very much on building um, sort of a, a business environment out of London, and that London will turn into something like a combined Hong Kong, Singapore for continental Europe. And that's going to be a big blow um, for the rest of you because you have lots of talent there, you have the infrastructure there, you have the facilities there. Don't forget that London is the not so much the banking but the services center, not only of Europe, of the world. Most of the lawyers, most of our contracts are done um, uh, under English uh, legislation. So that's a big risk. Huh? Um, and, and that's something Europe should be very, very well aware of um, during uh, the negotiations in the next months. Marcus, can I get you to comment on that, please? I'd be interested in your perspective. Well, I, I mean, I, I think that um, I, I see it from not only the capital markets point of view, which I think is extremely important. The, the uh, you know, Europe needs one financial centre. London has become a true global financial centre and uh, the efficiency of capital markets is an important thing and there is a lot of experience and a lot of depth in that capital market uh, which would completely disappear. I mean, or it would be dispersed over Europe, I think, uh, if you start looking at what other banks will do and, 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 and that is you always need some place where, where the expertise resi resides in one way or another. But I, I also, if I may come back to the question of free trade, I think um, United Kingdom stands for the free trade spirit in Europe today and uh, has done for a long, long time. And I think it would, if, if, if we cannot find a good way where United Kingdom continues to play an important role in free trade, not only with Europe, but within the global scene, I think it would be a real loss, a real loss. And, and so I hope that uh, despite what Mr. Johnson has said uh, the first couple of days, that we're actually really going to find a, a way forward here. Hi, I'm Giovanna Bersecchi and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.